Hey everybody, this is Future Wokey, which is, is it further in the future than the Future Wokey you're going to hear later on in this video. Um, while I was recording this and I made this in the shortest amount of time of me editing it and getting ready for it to upload, I was talking about how um, uh, Summer Ruler has a very specific mechanic and then they gave it the seal, but at least those are the only two units that have it. They released another one. <laughs> so now there's three units with I just want to acknowledge it happened, and now I have to put this in the beginning of the video while everyone's sleeping. I'm gonna go away now. Go ahead, pass Wookie, and start the video now. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with an actual fake grand order video where I get to play the game for a bit. <laughs> Hooray! As you can see here, I'm feeling slightly better from yesterday. I'm still kind of in some form of pain, but I was able to relax a little bit more, so I'll be a little bit better. And hopefully tonight I'll get a little bit more sleep because the work was delayed, so I was able to have a day off. So I feel a little bit better. Um, and I was able to use that time off to actually grind this event and reach the end here and get to the stage here, which is 90++. plus plus. So today I wanted to show the team that I was actually using for it because it was the first one that came up because I was talking to someone in... Uh, the Discord I have, and he was saying specifically, oh, it's kind of annoying because it's BB, and I said, you know what, I think I actually have, BB, <laughs> it's two turns, she has one million HP, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, so I thought to myself, I think I should be able to do it, but it's going to be with the most jank team possible, so I'm going to show it off right here, because uh, I will never be able to use this team again, it's very rare for the, the, the perfect stars to align for this team to work out. So here it is. It's under the Buster team because it is, of course, Buster focused. We have here uh, Summer Summer Bunny Ruler Artoria over there, along with Himiko, and then Double Vich, and then that is the entire team. That's enough for it right here. Uh, to best explain it, I will try and do my best to just uh, very quickly explain it all. Um, but obviously Vich is here for the fact that she is a buster support. If you're saying, hey, why not use Merlin? Won't he give 100% crit buff? And I said, that is correct. But unfortunately, I do not have Merlin, so I can't use him. That's why Himiko's here. And Himiko will be able to provide the team with 30% buster, 50% uh, crit damage. And she's going to be able to most of the time take out the first dude, unless I get very unlucky. Um... And then we have the actual sweeper for this team, the one that's going to cause the wind at all, Artoria Pendragon. Uh, which is Summer Ruler, as I usually call her, and the reason is is because she has one very special move. So the easiest way to kill BB is to obviously crit her down and destroy her that way, but the problem is is that if you get very unlucky, um, what happens is is that you'll completely run out of cards to actually face her with. So that's why this team is all about dealing with the luck. That's right, Royal Card B+, plus is going to let me be able to have two chances because it's on a cooldown of five. So I'll show it right here. And that is the basic setup of the team. And because she is Ruler, she does bonus damage to BB. And if she can get at least one single Buster card in, that's all it takes to kill BB in two turns. And if she doesn't kill her in two turns, she will guaranteed kill her in three turns. So let's go. May as well just show it here. Uh, hopefully not run into bad luck. So this is how the team setup has to go. You have to use all her skills right away at the front. Uh, using this and making sure you click it on Vich because she's the cards. Um, if you don't know what this effect does, basically, is that this is the buffed version of it where it applies a state where a command card becomes unselectable for a single ally. No effect when only one servant is on the field. One time for a single turn. Re redistributes the command cards plus gain crit strength uh, up. And then also increase NP gain for a single turn. So that means basically Vich won't have any cards and it will only be Himiko and her. And I can see here that I may have gotten just a little bit unlucky, but it's fine. We'll see where it goes from here. From this point on, you use Vich's stuff to give absolutely everything to her right here. And then you go switch her out. Because even though now that you've redistributed it, it should be perfectly fine. Um, you'll see that the stack cards will stay that way. And now that we have the new team set up, now we can use actually Himiko's skills. Because if we used Himiko's skills first, this ability here will make it so that all allies can gain uh, crit stars. But if you use it on Vich while she's still there, obviously you're going to make them go away and you'll miss out on an additional 8 crit stars there. And you're going to want all the crit stars that you're going to need for this specific team set up right here. So anyway, I'll continue going here. Keep going here. And I'll just use it again because it doesn't really matter. 
Um, now looking at here, I did get just a little bit unlucky with the card selection. But I think I'll make that up by using this right now and just hope that I get luckier at the end here. Go here, and then here. What you want to do in the perfect setup here is that you want to have at least two Buster cards, and one of them come from Himiko and the other one come from uh, Saber uh, Ruler over here. But I got unlucky and I got actually all the worst cards possible for it. So let's see. Never mind, perfectly fine. <laughs> She's dead. So, let's see what's going to be distributed up here. Alright, let's see how the cards come down here. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. So, let's try again. That's going to work out. So, it's pretty simple from here. You just use this. Actually, I wonder if I should just go for the Buster one. I actually don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll go for it. It should be fine. Either this is a two or three turn. I'm pretty sure all you need is a single Buster card, but I could be wrong on this. And she goes in here, she does her gigantic bounce, which is a very rare thing for you to ever see from her. Alright, this should be enough. Yes. No! She's just gonna barely miss out because I didn't save the other card. <laughs> That's fine. Damn, it really was is because I had to use the other thing. But it's okay. Three turns. Not that bad. And I'll just punch him because literally two of the three of these members can instantly just destroy BB. And down she goes. The reason I like using this one is because it actually does use two units that um, I like a whole bunch. One of them being Himiko and the other one being uh, Saber. Summer Saber Ruler over here. Who I absolutely love Saber Saber uh, Summer Saber Ruler. Or some Bunny Ruler is what I'll say. For, I should really say from here on. But the problem with her is, is that she's very bad. As you can see right here from her first skill, it only gives 40%. So she stops at 90%, which is terrible. This ability doesn't kick in until the next turn. This ability is her one good ability that she has. And unfortunately, Seal takes it um, in Japan right now. So that new um, style of farming that Seal introduced, it should have been with her. But unfortunately, she's just not that good of a unit that it requires such a specific niche times for you to actually use her. Um, that you're just never, ever, ever going to run into those kind of scenarios. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got double Himiko. Okay, that's perfect. Go here. So go here. There we go. Uh, should be good enough. No, it's not good enough. The, also, you have to make sure that you give Vitches, because Vitches right here, which is gives an, a, bon a bonus to humans and... Um, human attribute, BB has both of them. So this is just an 100% uh, crit damage bonus up against BB. So yeah, I'll go here and let Himiko do her thing. Himiko also during Guda Guda is awesome because she gets 50% damage increase. So that means that I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, she's going to be able to deal this dude. She's already giving a lot of things here. The only thing that's kind of also uh, funny enough, a slight, slight negative, is that um, Bunny Ruler can't actually take advantage of a lot of the overcharge. Because their overcharge isn't damage based, it's literally just like, hey, gain some NP at the end of it. <laughs> it's the classic Saber buff. Um, so yeah, go here. See, we get it back. Go here. Try again. Uh, that's enough. That's a win. So I'll just go here. I'll go this way just to see if it's slightly different if I do it all but uh, all um all Buster. I should have known deeper inside that I should have gone Buster Gorilla on that on that last turn, and that would actually be man. This is such a good animation that you never see. <laughs> Punch, and that should be it. Giant Lion mauls the hell out of BB and she dies. Love to see it. Well, ex unless you're a fan of BB. This is for ever all the ones on JP who are like not able to get some uh, BB Dubai at all. That's why I'm really attacking her. I'm doing this for you guys. Alright, next, here we go. Uh, funny enough, this is one of the few times I would like to not use... It's actually a hilariously perfect set of skills, but I still have to use it. This is the other reason that it might be bad, is I might actually re-roll into worse cards. It's okay. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I have a single one from Himiko. I'll figure out how to make it work. Go here. Go here. Go here. 
go here. I should have waited to use that one, and you'll see why. So after I use this, use this, use that. Hmm. We'll see. I think there's a chance for this not to kill. Which would be kind of a bummer. But, we'll see. You do get a, a decent amount of crit. It is a 50% extra. Okay, we should be fine. No, we're not fine. Damn. So that means it's time for... Time to stay up over. Whoa, that's crazy. Time got reset. So here we go. Now that should be enough. Though funny enough, now that uh, time is reset, there's a chance for her not to crit on that second arts <laughs> card. And for her not to have enough power to go here at the end. Like I said, this is a, a very Gambit-heavy team, but it is the first team I immediately went for because I said, you know what, I get to use these guys. There we go. There we go. Now kill with that final? There we go. Don't make me look silly now. Royal Bunny Fall. There's no real reason to do that. I just did it because it's a funny game. It bothers me when it's not actually the full two turns. Um, Do I need to do anything? No, I don't really think so. I could... Uh, hmm... I think I actually do. I need that extra crit. And I got a hard punish for it. This is what happens. So this is a three turn regardless of anything. The future could not be changed. You can see there that um, I knew for a fact because of previous runs that it was not enough without the extra crit. So, unfortunate, but it's three turns. I should have just accepted it was three turns the previous time. Slap him here. Yeah, you see the crit damage goes way down when it is not Buster. <laughs> But it's alright. As long as uh, she's get picked again. It's really funny how sometimes it, the nature of RNG is like, oh yeah, let me get the final cards here. And again, no, they refuse to give it to me. But it's okay. This actually is might be going even worse. It might actually go to um, four turns. My god. Uh, that's why Seal's better than her, because Seal can actually guarantee that it's going to be the cards and they'll be locked here, I think. Actually, no, that's how you, that's why you use BB Summer to lock it in, but at that point, it's too many dudes for it to be used here. Hello, everyone. It's me, Future Wookie, here to explain better what I was trying to say at that is, is this exact moment. So, this is Seal, because I realized I never actually went over what her effect did and just said, man, Seal is so much better. Uh, the, the, the skill that is similar to what she has is right here is the Idea Blood uh, Hypnotic Principle B, which is party's command codes will not appear except for self for one time, one turn. Randomly deals five new command cards. This will reset the deck, so it becomes the first turn of a new command card cycle. Charges own uh, defense and then charges MP gauge. Increases own defense for three attacks, three turns. Grants self a buff on defense buff uh, for three times three turns for defense, and then recovers own HP when taking attack. The important thing to note here that is different is the fact that this will make it so that all her cards will appear, so it's five of her cards. It means I wouldn't be able to do the Himiko thing, but in this specific instance, um, in this specific grind team, this still would be better, because if I had five, all five of... Um, Bunny Ruler's cards, I'd have access to her two busters guaranteed, and then I would just use them and then bop in the face. And then the last thing I'll say is that the, the specific method I was talking about is that you want to use Seal here, um, right here. You want to use this ability, which will deal her to five new command cards, which, have, of, which is of her type. And then you want to swap into someone else, go or someone else who can take advantage of a whole bunch of command cards at once. You use this ability right here which will lock it in place, that means that you get three command codes. That's what was specific I was saying, the, the 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 combination of stuff that I was saying it. I was just not describing it correctly because I was too busy grinding at the time and assumed most people knew what I was talking about. But there you go. Um, Seal, very good dude coming up later. Also, this ability is just straight up better because it also charges MP gauge and she gets 50% and not 40% uh, like uh, Bunny Ruler does. Anyway, back to uh, the grinding in process. See you later. Effectively. Himiko punch. Never mind. Three turns. Believe in Himiko. And then she buffs herself at the end, baby. She says, you know what I need? I need that just tiny bit of extra damage for the <laughs> post-battle stare down. That's what it's all about. I'm going to use a little bit more of these. I know it's better to save a lot of these for Lotto, but um, that's really good advice for people who are low on apples. I have like 
oh, 200s and everything. I'll be fine. Except for in bronze apples, funny enough. Hmm? It is nice. That's why every time someone says you shouldn't use your apples, I'm like, do you see my apple count? You're right. I, I'm going to 100% agree with you and say it is a good idea to save your apples. But you have to also acknowledge my apple count. Oh, this is perfect. This is the as much as you would have hoped for on Himiko here. It's basically perfect. Go here. So yeah, uh, typically the best way of saving it for the ultimate RNG is to not do anything and not give it to um, Bunny Ruler here at the second, and I'll show why. You can see here, here's the nature of the way the cards are currently shuffled, but if you give it to her, it will shuffle it again to give you a chance of a better ch uh, of a better result, which in this case, I was rewarded. Because you can see here, it was 70%, and then this one was 70%, and then this one was 100, and now both of them are 100. And now I'm going to punch the shit out of this thing. Yeah, Himiko. Oh, I love Himiko so much. Oh. oh. Literally one of my favorite units that I never get to use very often because she's usually for challenge quests. And... <coughs> but great for events like this, actually. She's good for the final nose sometimes. She is. I mean, I think that... Uh, People underestimate how much damage she can truly put out. It's true. Especially she has, like, a bonus. Do you think I'll get good cards on this one or bad cards? What cards have you used already? No, I'll, I'll, it redistributes them. So basically, am I going to be able to get two busters? I, I At need... minimum, you will probably get two busters. Just to show you the results here, they both have two busters, so that means there's four arts in here and then uh, two quicks. Yes. Or something like that. Two well, equivalent. All right. Roll the gotcha. I was uh, hard rewarded. This is literally the perfect thing. She is going to absolutely demolish. I don't even need to use the extra bonus damage at the end there. She's gonna sip her drink. She's gonna leap up into the air. Bring them down. Perfect. And then BB gets mauled by a lion and dies. And then just for the disrespect, <laughs> literal gore of your comfort character. This can... happens every time she is a no to anything. <laughs> it is always rulers beating her up. It's true. And it's funny because um, Saber um, Bunny Ruler ends up being typically the worst. I'll do one last one. Uh, before I start. Maybe Moriarty would be the worst right now. On NA? Mm -hmm. uh, on this note. Uh, for the, for this note specifically, yeah, you're probably right. Just because uh, if you're going to use an Arts Ruler, you should use the one with 100% damage increase. Leo. Leo, exactly. Which I still need to get. The only reason I'm not using her is that I need to get her last three MP copies. Yeah. So, I'm going to go here. Go here. Uh, go here. I was about to click it on her and just have the worst time possible. Go here. Go here. Go here. Uh -huh. And then... This one's pretty alright. This one's not bad. Oh. Go here. Go here. Look how it looks like here. Okay. Slightly better. This should be enough to kill. Uh, this guy is really easy. The other thing that's nice is that typically in Guda Guda, they make sure that these dudes usually have demonic, so she gets a bonus damage against them from her second skill. So as long as it's a demonic thing, I can guarantee you she's usually able to punch it down. Lion Maul. It really is funny that Bunny Ruler's Buster card is literally a lion mauling people to death. Okay. There we go. Oh, hard punished. This is a three-turner. It's alright. We'll end it off. Like I said, it's a gotcha thing, but two to three turns ain't bad. See this. We get to see this MP at least one more time after this. <laughs> BB crying out for her life saying, why me? Hit her with the giant B. Sakura Beam. 
I just hope that it's not all bitch cards. If it is, then that means that we're not gonna be able to actually kill her. Okay, that that's uh, that's winnable. So, right here, punch, punch, punch. The other th nice thing is that Himiko does get bonus damage because she is a ruler. So one of the very few times where she actually does get bonus damage against uh, type advantage against them, unless you're fighting a berserker. Punch. Oh, Buster crits, love them. Lion, check out what you did, what we just did to BB. Battle finish. Lion. And yeah, that, that's the start of it. I'll probably have another video where I'll be doing more grinding. I need to see how much more grinding I need to do in this. It's probably a decent... I might actually be pretty close to being done. I do have to do... But that... The, we have to do Keisuke's special thing. That's that's this over here. Now, where is it? I have to unlock the, the hardest difficulty fight. And, challenge quest. Yes, the challenge quest. So I have to unlock all these and then we'll be back with the challenge quest. Uh, funny enough, do you know what material Keisuke uses? Don't be something stupid. Uh, it's Proof of Heroes. You, uh, you want to know what I don't have right now? That is correct. <laughs> you don't want to know? Every login, you get at least three. At least three to four. You know who else needs to be leveled up and is in the Shinsengumi? Did you call no, he's already 10, 10, 10. It's Saito. Do you want to know what Saito needs? The same thing. He needs proof of heroes as well. <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to get more proof of heroes until I go Lotto. Yeah, I know, sad. So yeah, I'll be back with more team stuff, especially when I have EO up and running. Uh, let me see, how close are you, girl? She's so close. She's so close to Bontan, I can feel it. But that's the end of the video, everyone. If you want to tell me how what you've been using the ground here, I'll gladly listen and see what's going up. I have some other stuff to test out, because obviously this is just the first team that I went up and went like, alright, let me try using these guys, because I think that they can actually two-turn BB. And I was like, yeah, they can! I should also say specifically, I don't think most people will be able to do this because mine is NP2. Yes. Yes. Very important to mention here at the end. Mine is NP2. If you have yours at MP1, good luck. Good luck. I think you would need to get more lucky than I did on a lot of my pulls here. Uh, you'd have to basically almost always get um, the Buster stuff, but In that yeah. Case, you run double or yeah, there's obviously way better actual making sense Buster teams that can do it. It's just that I'm never going to be able to use her in any kind of showcase. So I want to be able to do it in the the small times. Fago is a game of taking some of your worst characters and making them look good for a brief moment in time. And this is her brief moment in time. This is the ruler's time. Exactly, because eventually when Seal comes out in two years' time, nobody talks about it. Actually, she does get a buff. Which means I'll be able to use her more. But for the most part, they took her second skill. And there's nothing I can do about that. They gave, they took her second skill, they gave it to a good character. It's the saddest I've ever been. <laughs> I, everyone else was saying, oh man, she's so good. I was saying, wait a minute. They took the only thing my girl had left to her. They took everything else. If it makes you feel better, she's a moon cancer. So that means our Toria would win. It's true. In a, in a fist fight, she would 100%. Anyway, that's the end of the, t of the video, everyone. Till next time, peace out.